John, first of all, obviously a 5-2 defeat away to Oxford City today, so can you just sum up how you're feeling after that one? Obviously not very good. Uh, it's a poor performance and uh, well, poor second half performance, should I say. First half we're in control, should have been two or three up. And then uh, when the third goal went in, we capitulated. Um, so obviously very disappointed. Why do you think that was the, the quick fire sort of double in the second half from Oxford? Um, you know, can you put a particular reason to that? No, obviously we conceded on their first attack, um, second half. I thought we came out and we stopped going forward. We started thinking that just keeping the ball was enough. Um, first half we were camped in their half and we played balls forward, we were getting the midfield players on the edge of the box and, and moving the ball quickly. Second half we were content with just passing backwards and sideways and, and never really went forward. And then uh, they broke on us on the first, uh, on the what led to their second goal, got a free kick uh, and we couldn't deal with, this, with the set piece again. Uh, so that's again disappointed. And then you just think, well, we'll regroup and uh, we're going to make a mistake for the third goal. And then Manny slips over for the fourth goal uh, and the game's virtually gone then. Um, but the reaction from the players wasn't good enough. Um, you know, there was a lack of commitment the last 20, 30 minutes, which we can't have. And uh, they need to have a look at themselves and, and see whether, yeah, whether it was them who who let the team down or whether uh, or whether they did enough yeah the biggest change um, in the first half was certainly Kieran Wallace going off you know I think that definitely impacted the game so how do you, you feel that sort of affected everything yeah we didn't know because obviously Kieran's uh, defensively minded where Tom's a little bit more forward thinking but that was nothing to do with uh, what I'm setting off you know it, it could have helped obviously with Kieran keep him playing but the goals that we conceded um, you know that's that's poor yeah obviously five goals conceded in the end so defensively um, in particular you know where do we need to so where do you need to address defensively you know is there any area in particular where um, you know set pieces is that an issue for you we've talked about it since the start of the season and we've got to improve on set pieces uh, we talk and talk we've worked on that probably more than anything else during the season but we still can't score at one end and we can't keep a clean sheet at the other end uh, from set pieces. So, uh, um, as I say, you can only, there's only so much you can do and then, then you've got to start looking at the personnel. Yeah, where do we go from here? You've obviously got a week until the next game now, so do you take a look at personnel and training? Um, do you work on certain things? Do you put them through the paces? How do we go from here? We have to remember that we're still in a decent position. Our own form is very good. We have to remember that. Hopefully it's hurt uh, all the players that have played. I know it hurts me. Um, it's hurt the supporters who've come down. Um, but the only answer is to get back out on the pitch and um, have a right go on Saturday and realise that um, you know we, our own form is really good and we're in a decent position. So it's uh, But it won't continue like that if we put performances in as we've done today. Yeah, you've learned from defeats like this before. You just look at Barnet, for example. You know, after that one, went on a run of four or five good results. So, can you take confidence from the fact that we have, you know, learned from these results before? Well, we haven't learned because obviously we, uh, the performance today uh, wasn't unlike the Barnet performance in some ways. Um, so, um, no, we've got th there's one or two reasons why it's happened, but. Um, you know, we'll, all we can do is, is work hard and then try and get uh, get to the to the bottom of uh, why these things are happening. Um, but uh, but our general play has been quite good for the majority of games. And um, what we've got to remember is that we're not playing against Premiership teams. We uh, if we work hard and uh, and we get organised, then we have still got great chance of, of winning games. Um, hopefully today's a blip and um, we move on and, uh, and keep improving as the season goes on. Yeah, and just finally, do you have a, a message for the supporters? Obviously, a long journey today, uh, travelled in their numbers, so do you have a message for them? It's difficult to know what to say because obviously they have travelled. Um, I'm, I'm really disappointed. I'm disappointed for them. 
he can't make any excuses he wasn't good enough uh, you can apologise but it doesn't make it any easier travelling back to Hartlepool tonight my apologies um, all we can do and what the players can do is next time we play it's given something to shout about and uh, hopefully try and achieve something this year and uh, that'll uh, obviously the only way that we can repay them